If you've been out in the world, you've likely seen the word UNESCO and this little weird square in a circle all over the place. UNESCO is tasked with identifying, protecting, and preserving human heritage. Things like buildings, landscapes, and monuments. But in 2013, they added something intangible, the Mediterranean diet. You may have heard of the Mediterranean diet. It's a big fad in the United States as of late, and it's considered to be one of the healthiest in the world. But thanks to UNESCO, it's not just healthy. It's also a piece of human heritage. Here's hoping they give some love to my Sunday pizza tradition next year. The Mediterranean diet includes plant-based foods, as well as healthy fats and a bunch of other things. Plus, and this is serious, limiting the amount of red meat or mammal meats. Grilled fish is a popular item, as are other seafoods, and this is pretty rare. It offers an alcoholic component, a bit of red wine. The problem is, if you look at the U.S. in magazines and blogs and things, the Mediterranean diet as we see it is filled with lists of restrictions and requirements of what to eat, what not to eat, and how to prepare your meals, because that's how Americans see something called a diet. In the U.S., diet doesn't mean its primary dictionary definition, the kinds of food that a person, animal, or community habitually eats. Most of us think of the tertiary definition, a special course of food to which one restricts oneself either to lose weight or for medical reasons. The Mediterranean diet is the former, not the latter. It's a way of living and eating, not a list of restrictions and requirements. UNESCO writes the Mediterranean diet involves a set of skills, knowledge and rituals, symbols and traditions concerning crops, harvesting, fishing, animal husbandry, holy crap, conservation, processing, cooking, and particularly the sharing and consumption of food. The foundation of the diet, eating together, social exchange of communication during a meal, neighborliness, affirmation, intercultural dialogue, hospitality. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff. You can't buy this regional diet at a store. It's literally about changing everything in your life. And of course, red wine helps with all of those things too. Better nutrition has been connected to longer, healthier lives. And even things like overall height gains, better eyesight, prevention of heart disease, and Alzheimer's, just to name a few. The Mediterranean diet adds heart health to that as well, lowered levels of stress and anxiety, and it's not just about what you're eating or not eating. Numerous studies have shown social interaction and support make people physically and mentally more healthy. The concept of social buffering is part of the Mediterranean diet, where people get together, socialize, interact, and share. On top of that, Greece, one of the countries in the Mediterranean for the geographically challenged, incorporates intermittent fasting into their lifestyle diet, thanks to the number of religiously motivated fasting days in the Greek Orthodox tradition. We actually have a whole video about the science of fasting. It's really cool. Check it out. It seems to me incorporating even a few of these things into our lives would likely benefit us all. The Mediterranean diet doesn't mean going to the Greek restaurant down the street a lot, but maybe inviting your friends over to eat some vegetables you grew, or like me, found at a farmer's market. Talk, use some olive oil, and of course, make them bring red wine. We can't do episodes like these without support from our sponsors. Thanks to Blue Apron for supporting us at Seeker. Blue Apron allows you to create delicious, chef-designed recipes at home using farm-fresh ingredients in exactly the right proportions. You don't have to remember to pop over to the grocery store after work and grab a bunch of celery just to take it home and cut up one stalk and then leave the rest in the fridge. You get exactly what you need right at your doorstep and shipping is free. Blue Apron recipes are in the box along with the ingredients, which will stay fresh on your porch even if you're not at home when dinner arrives. They're always adding new dishes to their menu, and you can try it with no commitment, choosing to skip or cancel the service at any time. Check out the link down in the description, and the first 100 people to create a new account with Blue Apron will get their first three meals free. How do y'all feel about hummus? I know it's just chickpeas, but damn, I love it so much. I could drink wine, eat veggies, and have a little fish every day. But what about you guys? Tell us down in the comments. And do you want to learn more about your body? Amy's got a video about why you should look at your poop. Really, I know, but you should. You should check it out right here.